Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been uh, watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And uh, I would, you know, would hope that, you know, you are able to resonate with the videos that I'm putting out. And if you are, please, you know, um, go ahead and share out. It would be greatly appreciated. And the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, when the devil trying to be uh, trying to break to fold god is breaking to mold that will lead you to be bold and it's so true you know a lot of times when you're going through different things in life you know you you know especially if you like me you can sit up here and um be going through different things in your life and it's just like you know oh welcome the challenges and understand the obstacles can make you a lot stronger like the hell you say i'm the one who gonna get affected by the stuff that you talk about these obstacles making me you know, we don't want to be so happy. I'm going through these challenges. It's like challenges, yay! Obstacles, yay! You know, and you're really trying to allow yourself to be the champ, taking one for the team. Okay, I'm trying to sip tea and spill tea at the same time. You know, I'm trying this different way. Y'all know I be drinking green tea, and my daughter brought me one. It's called Tivana. It's uh, peach trilli tri uh, tri tranquility. You know, and I'm like, man, it's just trying to get used to that. It's, it's, it's a taste. <laughs> it feels like it's good, but it's just something different. So, um, you know, you're going through different things where it, it's like God and universe. And I tell y'all all this all the time. God and universe go hand in hand. There's different things on where you have to uh, uh, sit, sit up here and, you know, just allow yourself to be taken one for the team. Constantly be able to say, you know, hey, this is something that's out of my hands. So it got to be out. If it's out of my control, it got to be out of my mind. And it's easier said than done. But these are the things that, you know, the devil knows your potential. The devil sees your light. You know, your enemies see it as well. That's the reason why you got constant challenges. That's why people sabotage you. That's why people question you, doubt you, you know, play your dreams uh, low key, you know, or try to tell you dreaming too big or, oh, you know, you got to be doing this or, you know, it may take an extended, extended um, period of time for this to manifest, you know, because it's just the fact is because they know, you know, it reminds me of that post. And y'all know I always say that remind me of the post that where people, um, There'll be people say that you can't do it and people they uh, think you won't do it and people that are afraid you will do it, you know, because they know you have that light. If you you persist in like, you know, you want something in your life and they know you determined because it's like when we can be determined about wanting a relationship in our life and come to find out this is not the relationship God had for us. But we had to go through these different things. You had to go through different relationships. A lot of times we can say, oh, you know, I wish I never met that person. That was such a waste of time. And it's like nobody is a waste in your life. You know, there's a lot of times that, you know, I'm going to say, man, if I can go back in time. Hey. I wouldn't have met this, this, and this, and that. But then it's just like, if I didn't meet these people, I wouldn't know what to expect. I wouldn't know what to look for. I wouldn't know what red flags I got to really be attentive to. You know, different things that when somebody run a game on you, when somebody being toxic, when you being toxic, you would never learn these different things if you never experienced them. And these are the things that, you know, it, it, it's just like our fear, our ego. It will have us being naysayers to our own life, talking bad on ourselves, you know. Thinking, I ain't going to never get out of this. Or, oh, I'm broke. Or this and this and that. And they always tell you, you got to you gotta be careful about the, even the words you speak on yourself. You know, and a lot of times we don't realize that. You know, oh, you know, this is my life is a joke. Or, oh, you know, when these things happen, well, I'm so used to people doing this to me or I'm not surprised and stuff like that. And you have to be at that point where we even have to rewire ourselves and reprogram ourselves to saying, you know, all this stuff that I'm going through is attracting me for better. Or all these things that I'm really facing is creating a stronger vi vibration for me. 
got me going to that next frequency for me. You know, even though the devil is trying to break me to get me to give up on what's important into my life because he sees that there's some structure that I'm trying to manifest that I know it can really blow me out the water. Not just me. I'm being an example for other people that may be going through the same situation as me. Or I might be even being that one that be the solution to everybody else's problem. Or then you deal with when it didn't comes with the devil, you see a, a different problem for every solution. People used to laugh at me like that. I said, this is the main person that will sit up here and there'll be that person that got every problem from, to every solution. You better be careful. They used to laugh at me like, Rosalyn, are you serious? As a heart attack? Yes, I really truly am. You know, and those different things, you know, things will come at you. People will come at you, you know, things you'll constantly be tested at. I mean, there'll be times where I get, I used to get so angry, you know, like, why is the devil keep on me? You know, even like I was telling y'all, you know, today is my birthday and it's just like, you know, I've never looked fond of being my birthday. I never, you know, a lot of people are like, ooh, you know, it's my birthday's coming up, this and this and that, and I got this and this plan. And I've always been that person like, oh. This is my birthday. What kind of doom is going to come to my life? And it's been really tricky. It's been really tricky lately. You know, very depressing. But it's just like I had to get to that point where I made my own self mad. But not being mad to where I'm ready to just amp up and fight nobody. But it's just the fact is I'm going to fight that void that I allowed myself to be, you know, in. I had to be able to say this is your life. You know, you see how people, you know, a lot of times we don't realize we take life for granted. Just because things aren't going our way. You know, there's somebody out there that had plans for the day and didn't wake up today. Or there's somebody who had plans for their birthday and didn't make it through their birthday. You know? And these are those things where you, you are so blessed in life. Even though you don't have the things that you want in life or things didn't go where you thought they were. Or different things that has taken place. You know, but this is something that you can create through your choice of how you choose to see things, how you choose to go about things, how you how you see how life is unfolding for you. If you see this is an um, uh, experience that was unexpected, but you allowing yourself to live through it, to grow through it, to manifest something bigger, you, you'll find out so many different things about yourself that you didn't have that courage to do. You know, the resistance that you placed upon your own self because we feared. Or we felt like we didn't have what it takes or we were going to fail. Or we didn't want to have to go through things too long. You know, or, you know, or it may be this year or it may be next year. You're like, I ain't even hoping I got to deal with this another year. You know, you never know. And it's just the fact is, is you know, and the universe always tell you, you know, it's all about your attitude, how you choose to do things. You know, even when things ain't going great, are you still being grateful? And a lot of times they know it's hard to be grateful for different things that's in your life is hard to be patient when you're going through a lot of things. It made me remind me of that song that Jesse Smollett used to sing. It's like why bad things happen to good people. He played that you know, he sung that on um uh, on the movie on the show Empire and I remember I used to always cry to that song, you know, because it's hard for you to be grateful towards things. It's hard for you to be patient. It's hard for you to see, you know, the silver lining in different things and knowing you know, everything happens for a reason, you know, and you're going to have a good season. You know, it got me going through the song like that. You know, you go through so many things in life, you know, and it's a lot of times that we, we don't even stay focused on being grateful for what didn't happen or what God and universe has protected us from or a different thing. You know, you could have been late for work today and stressed out and not realizing if you left when you left, you could have been stuck up in a pile up or you could have been involved in an accident just because where your car was at or where you were walking to. And you just don't know what God has really placed you, you know, really got you through or whatever. And this is at that time where it shows you, you know, where the devil really comes into play at. Because it's like I say all the time, devil and God go hand in hand. But they got two and two different, uh, you know, intentions for things that's happening to you. Because a lot of times, you know, God will leave you in isolation or trying to understand why does people keep leaving my life. Maybe it's because you don't know what moves is being made. You know what words is being said. You know what these folks don't apply it behind you. You know, or they don't use their experiences with you and you have learned from them and they learn from you. Now it's time for them to move on. You know, God never sit up here and said people will stay in your life forever. You know, and all these different things has taken place to really prepare you for something greater. It's really, you know, 
putting you do, through different things to strengthen you in ways you didn't see coming. You know, and a lot of times, they, like I said before, they understand, you know, what you go through is not easy, but they never said it was going to be easy. It was going to be worth it, though. And it's like, well, man, shoot, I may not feel that way. But it's just like a lot of times, even when we don't feel grateful and we're going through a lot, because it's just like with us being hey oh because you really putting a, a, a major dent in that meaning and not realize that you are surpassing those things and not even realize that even when things ain't going good you don't know how much progress you're making when you can allow yourself even when you're not exactly where you want to be at but you making that effort to get there even baby steps create an impact you in a big way somewhere later on because you're allowing yourself to uh you're allowing yourself to uh, continue to go through things and allowing yourself to really, you know, strengthen yourself through this. It's like, oh, I can't take this anymore, but I'm allowing myself to keep going. Or even though, I, you know, it's hard for me because I'm going through certain things right now, I'm still learning to be patient. Or I'm still allowing myself to forgive, not taking things personal, not allowing myself to keep repeating, you know, the same situation that, you know, they put me in this in the situation in the first place. You know, and even then when I think things ain't fair, you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. It's going to be better for you, you know, because a lot of times it, it's just like we try to have control over things and we don't have control over our lives. <laughs> you know, we don't we try to control a lot of things and that's why we get frustrated, I'm, you know, and, and it's just like. You know, there's when we try to control things, and it's not just the enemy, but when we when we have try to control things, that means we don't have control of our emotions, we don't have control of our attitudes, we don't have control of our, our better ways of life. And anytime we try to control things or manipulate timelines is because either things are not going in that speed that you want them to or you just feel like you know or as the enemy they don't want to see you oh i deserve that that that's going to be for me or i'm going to stand in the way and make sure that they you know they don't get this that and the third you know and that means you don't have control over what is taking place in your life and that's where they're telling you you don't have control over that only thing you can have control about it is how you see it how you go about it you know, are you observing? Are you absorbing? Are you allowing yourself to see everything as a lesson? Are you, you, you know, are you trying to sit up here and, um, you know, manipulating things on your own and not realizing a lot of times that can really mess us up in a lot of different ways. And these are those things. That's where, you know, the devil is working on you. You know, you are really working on stuff. And it's just sad because you don't, you, you don't realize a lot of times you know, even, you know, you have to understand, even, it, it's just like God is trying to take you to the promised land. The devil going to lead you to pasture. You know, we, you know, give you, oh, if you take this person out or you, if you, you know, you step in and try to manipulate this person, this and this and that. I can promise you this and this, or you can get this and this and that. Because it's just the devil is a devil person. And, you know, a jealous person. He don't feel like, he don't like how God promises things and delivers for folks. He don't like the fact that see how people love and worship God. You know, you, you see a lot of other people that worship him too. And I'm just like, mm, I, I, I'm been too many times close to hell and I've seen what that stuff smell like and look like. I'm good. You know, I stay on I stay on the righteous of God. I ain't trying to go all of that. And I've been there too many times. I'm not on death door. I done seen what, what goes on down there if you choose to go that way. You know, I've seen how different things happen for different people if you choose to go that way. I'm like, I'm good. I ain't even that much daggone money in the world to get me to do some mess like that. But it's just at that point where if God is taking something out of your life, you know, it's like, oh, you know, that person took my man or, oh, that person took my, my woman or something like that. And it's just like if somebody can take somebody like that away from you, that means that they weren't yours in the first place. And shoot, they weren't even their own. Because if something, if you giving up something good to get something better, you, you don't realize that better was something that you left. And that was just like, ugh. <laughs> it was just like, no. And then that person always went and found somebody better. You know, found the best. You know, and these are the different things that God is breaking to mold you in a way is making you bold it's making you stand out it's like your life was already going to be standoutish anyway you're going to be offish towards a lot of things that go against you 
you know, and you gonna project in, in ways that you never seen coming. And that's the reason why we go through so much. That's the reason why the devil tries so hard to make you fold, try to make you give up on different things in your life. Even when you feel like, oh, it should be done by this time. And it's just like a lot of times we don't realize. Sometimes God will tell you, hey, you know, this could be this and this and this and that at that time. But it's just like. He never said it was going to be that day, but he going to say it's going to be a day, you know, where things are going to get better. You know, it may take, you know, a minute. It may take a few weeks. It may take a couple of months. It even may take a couple of years. We know that because there's some of us has been on this mess for, for some years and you ain't did it, dealing with no petty stuff. And a lot of times they know we get mad. It's all hell when we got to deal with stuff like that. But then we got to understand if you a Hayoka, you a warrior, you, nothing you going to go past, nothing you going to overcome is going to be little. It's not going to be petty. You know, you're going to go through some major stuff. And I know a lot of us is going through some major stuff. You're dealing with your own major demons you're trying to heal from. And as soon as you heal from one or two, next, you know, ten more come. You know, you're trying to live in a world of peace and all chaos be coming from you every corner. And you just trying to stay strong to make it through that. But it'll be just like at that time, you don't know you got a, a, a beast. You, you know, you making a beast within yourself, that warrior beast. And it's just like for us anyway, you're, you're, you're a hybrid. You're an evolutionary. You, you know, you, you that one that they weren't expecting. You were hidden in plain sight. They were like, okay, yeah, they real quiet. And they, they look like they can fold and bend any kind of way. And not knowing you dealing with a powerful what not. You don't know what you dealing with. And that's the reason why God bent you like that. That's the reason why God made you like that. It's like, yeah, you be like one of them things. You know, like one of them car things. You go over there and be like this all over the place. And you really trying to understand and not know. Your butt coming out like you one ticked off and one guy say, hey, it's time to suit up. Your butt going to be like like Godzilla. Like past Godzilla. You be like making Godzilla look like Gecko. You know, and one of those men. It's just like, wait a minute. I thought that was a little flimsy thing that you be having at the car sales and stuff. Be going all over here with all the little air blowing into his butt. Yeah, that's why I wanted you to think. Kind of funny, ain't it? Oh. <laughs> you know, like one of those numbers. It's like, yeah, you didn't see that coming. You know, and just keep going. And that's the reason why you go through these things. You know, a lot of times we, we got to say we don't understand God's promises. We don't understand God's understanding. It's how lead all past all understanding. You got to lead past your understanding and go on God's understanding. Because you trying to understand something that put you in a world of confusion. You know, we we don't say that a couple of times going through stuff. You may have, you may have not, but this is how we learn. You know, the ones that haven't, you know, God bless you. But the ones that sit up here and do things the hard way, shoot, I'm a Taurus. You know, God vibes are all almost dead. Now every other astrology in their sign all put up manifesting to this one little suit, and I'm just like, what the? But y'all thinking, put me all up in here like that, knowing I'm a hot mess. You know, you're looking at two parents that are Gemini's. I'm like, really. Yeah, you made a dag on Gemini slash Taurus. I don't know what y'all were doing. You know, and going through all those different things in life. But know that when you're going through stuff and you on that verge of, you know, verge of really giving up, just saying everything ain't even worth it. Look how far you have come. If you need to go ahead and pause, you do that. But don't you give up. That's what the devil wants you to do. A lot of times you got to understand when you on that verge of giving up because things get too hard. Or it just feel like God is just playing with you. And you just ready to fight him. Talking about I'm going to meet you at 3 o'clock. And you got two fingers up. You know, that's just the devil working with you. He wants you to, he wants you to manifest all up on your fears. All on your projections of what you no longer are. He wants you to allow you to take it personal on how people define you. How people talk bad about you. How people try to trigger you all the time. But God wants to actually show you. If you do, you going through all that, they're, they're, you got to think about that. And you go on that verge of doing that. Sometimes you got to psych yourself out. You know how many people are waiting on you to fold like that. You know how many people know that you got something good about you and they waiting for you to give up. They waiting for you to mess up or they waiting for you to tell them the next step you got so they can block that too. You know, go ahead and wreak havoc in your life. There's a lot of things that people envy you for what you have and he can, God can make something so big out of something so small. So small, and that's the reason why you are hated by many, but you are loved by you know, you you hated by a dozen, but you love by many. 
And those are the things that allows yourself. Sometimes you got to tell yourself it's time to take a break. Because I'm doing a lot out here and it's just like my, my, my heart is heavy right now. My faith is being shaky. You know, it's okay to feel like that because you keeping it real. You going through a lot. And that, I mean, that that what we face all the time is not for the weak hearted. You know, it, it is not for the weak hearted. That's the reason why we go through so much. You got so many people that's pointing a finger at you. Making you feel like you you wrong when you try. All you trying to do is right. You know, you accepting yourself. You 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 know, you allowing yourself to hold accountability. You allowing yourself to you know take in on your part. You hold your own part in suffering for. You know, these are the different things that constantly take place in our life where changes challenges us a lot of time, but it's on actually you know inspire us to create better in our lives. You keep praying for your peace in life because it's hard to do that. You see how much, you know, it's like it's hard for, at times until you go through something that you know only God, it had God written on it. Because you see so much devilish out in the world. You see how many people is just so hellish towards each other for no apparent reason. How people don't like you because it's just the energy you keep. And you have to be at that point right now. When you be so positive, the negative don't even want to be around you no more. And you got to stay consistent with that. You're going to start losing a lot of people when you start keeping it real. You know, you're going to start losing a lot of people that want to be stuck on them intentions of being fraudulent or being fake or worried about what other people are thinking or wondering about what other people are saying. When they use, they want to, you know, they want to project fear when you try to project love, compassion, peace. You're going to be dealing with a lot of things like that. When you keep it real like that, you're going to have a small quantity of people around you because there will be people that is you don't know how high your name is being spoken of up there. You know, especially if you're getting all them ringing in the ear and you're getting it at all different tones. Oh, they speaking on you in heaven. They got, I mean, there's people parlaying all the way up there like, man, shoot, we got, you know, we got a hold down down here. You know, it's like we got going. I forgot what all them little country sayings they got when they about to have shake a foot loose or whatever. Like my mom like shake a tail feather back in the day. You know, you about to do different things like that in your life. You, you don't realize just by the little stuff that you're doing when you're trying to place compassion out there for people. You know, that adds up. Even when it just feel like people don't even show their gratitude towards you, but you still keep moving, you still keep moving in your purpose. That's what God wants you to do because you're going exactly through what God went through. You know, they, they weren't believing in him. That's the reason why they try to they crucify him in so many ways. But I ain't get into that. You know, they ain't tell everything that was going on in them ways. But, you know, but it is. But a lot of times you just got to psych your own self out when you feel like you're on that verge of really ending everything even even your life there's too many people that's out there is praying that you do that because they see something good in you and they ready to shut it down they ready to shut it down and they you know you're going through all these things but god using that thing to manifest you it's going to allow you to really see your purpose and you're going to understand you're going to be glad for them enemies you're going to be glad for them hiccups you're going to be glad for them failures and setbacks because it created something in you that you never thought you could be and it's manifesting something that you never thought you were. And that's that real true. You is bringing you what you've forgotten. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I would love to give a post notification shout out to uh, AV, uh, AVI. And um, what is it? Faithfield 1111. Uh, Divac Kira. Much love to you as well. And Christina uh, Valgas. Much love as well. So if you have been watching my videos for a while, please drop a line. I would love to get a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. If I have not hit you back, and I forgot to say that on the last two videos, I apologize. I am getting to it. Like I said, today's my birthday. So if I don't hit you back, I'm going to try my best to be able to do it this weekend. I was just led to do these videos and just give it out um, and just move on. <laughs> but I'm going to promise you I'm going to hit y'all back up. But... You know, I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. Please be responsible and safe for everything that you do. And, um, what was I going to say? Oh, 
What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. Just to be able to help you get, have a deeper understanding about your path of purpose. And I'll try to help out the best way I can. Whatever we speak on is confidential. And um, I leave my, my link to my podcast as well that I have on Spotify. And if you ever feel generous enough to make a donation, I'll also leave my podcast there as well. So I hope you all have a blessed safe weekend. Please be responsible and safe for everything you do. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace.